From bolt-action weapons and repeaters to pump-action shotguns and revolvers, Red Dead Online has no shortage of stylish yet powerful 19th century firearms for unleashing a hailstorm of bullets upon your enemies. But too much choice can sometimes be a bad thing, as you just can't figure out which gun is best for giving your fellow Wild West adventurer a long-range lobotomy. Well, worry no more, because today on the show I've got the perfect list of the best guns in every single category, and this is all backed by cold hard facts thanks to the meticulous research of Captain Balric, who has compiled the damage, range, and firing speed stats for every gun into a neat spreadsheet. Plus, I've got some special new categories of my own that I just added for fun, so keep watching till the end for those. Alright, let's kick things off with the best repeater in the game, which is none other than the trusty Lancaster Repeater. Now, what makes the Lancaster so special? Is it the most powerful repeater in the game, or the one with the most range? Actually, no. It's neither. The Lichfield does more raw damage up close, and the Evans has less damage fall off at maximum range. However, what does make the Lancaster so good, and the choice of pretty much every serious outlaw in the Red Dead Online world, is its overall performance here. It has the second highest damage of all four repeaters, it holds 14 rounds of ammunition, and it's matched with the Lichfield for having the lowest initial bloom size. Once you start firing, the crosshair on the Lancaster takes less time to reset after each shot, and it even has the second fastest fire rate of all repeaters repeaters in the game, beaten only by the carbine repeater. All this makes the Lancaster a very reliable weapon at close to medium ranges. So while it's not the best at any particular thing, the Lancaster is what I call a jack of all trades. Actually, that isn't completely accurate because the Lancaster is the most accurate repeater in the game, so it's the best in something. There's nothing else like it in the repeater category, honestly, that offers the same balance of DPS, accuracy, and reload speed. And if you're new to the game and haven't already got one, I highly recommend you purchase a Lancaster right now because you absolutely will not regret it. If you're more into PVE, the Evans is a nice alternative due to its much higher capacity of 26 rounds. However, you pay for this with a much slower reload and a slightly worse accuracy. In PVP, Human players are more likely to punish you for hiding behind cover and reloading for half a minute, but in PvE, the additional size of your ammo count can come in handy when dealing with massive waves of NPCs. Ideally, you'd have both the Evans and the Lancaster in your saddlebag, well oiled and cleaned so you can adjust to the situation as needed. Right, let's talk about revolvers now, the bread and butter of Red Dead Online. While they're more of a side hustle to support your primary arms, the revolvers can be quite handy in a pinch. Because, as we all know, switching to your sidearms is faster than reloading. And if you're really brave, you can dual wield revolvers like an absolute Giga Chad, but you better have the skills to back it up, and some nice ability cards like Gunslinger's Choice, or even Painted Black. But I won't get much into externalities here, as my rankings are based solely on the capabilities of the firearm itself. So, with that in mind, which revolver is the best in the game? In my experience, it's a toss-up between the Navy Revolver and the Lamat Revolver. The latter has a higher capacity, but slightly less damage per shot. In terms of reload speed, the Lamat is also faster per bullet, but because it has a 9-round cylinder, it takes longer overall to reload than the Navy Revolver, despite both being cap and ball revolvers. Personally, I think it's more of a situational thing and personal preference, as the Navy is probably going to be better for dishing out precision damage in PvP, where you can't always line up perfect headshots, and the Lamat, with its underbarrel shotgun and higher capacity, is probably a better PvE pick. Since we've talked about revolvers, might as well bring up the other category of sidearms, which is the pistols. These are auto-loading and tend to have higher capacities as well as faster fire rates compared to their less advanced wheel gun cousins. And you must admit, there's something special about unloading hot lead into your enemies from a semi-automatic firearm in the 1890s, while everyone else is basically going to be running around with bolt-action rifles and revolvers. However, the downside here to auto-loading pistols in Red Dead is their smaller caliber and thus lower damage per shot. You can offset this with well-placed headshots and the use of ability cards like Painted Black, but you could also do the same with other guns, so that's a bit of a moot point. In my opinion, a good pistol should be more accurate than a comparable revolver, with a higher fire rate so you can land a few quick follow-up shots. And most importantly, it also needs to have fast reloading. Otherwise, what's even the point of a pistol compared to using a revolver? Now previously, I've championed the Volcanic as my favorite pistol due to its exceptional accuracy and high damage per shot, and when you look at the stats, 53.2 damage per shot is massive for a sidearm, easily beating out the revolvers and getting 
getting dangerously close to repeater territory. However, you do pay for this with a low fire rate, so keep that in mind. At 0.8 seconds per shot, the Volcanic takes twice as long to fire the next round as the semi-automatic pistol, and when you dual wield, the gap is even more massive at 0.6 seconds per shot for the Volcanic versus just 0.22 seconds per shot for the semi-auto. In PvP, I would wager that raw DPS and faster reloads are much more desirable attributes to have. And this makes the Mauser one of my favorites, with its excellent fire rate, decent accuracy, and large magazine capacity of 10 rounds as opposed to 8 for the Volcanic. While dual wielding Mausers, you can fire 20 shots, reload both magazines, and get off a few extra shots before a dual wield Volcanic even manages to fire all 16 of its bullets. And while dual wielding, the Mauser also actually has a faster bloom shrink speed than the Volcanic, so your crosshair is going to reset sooner, negating that first shot accuracy advantage of the Volcanic. Now for those reasons, I feel like the Mauser is a better PvP choice than the Volcanic here. I think you guys will also agree with me when I say that it's better looking in a no wonder why they modeled Han Solo's blaster after the Mauser, it's one of the sexiest turn of the century firearms ever made. And now it's time to finally discuss another Wild West staple, and one of the most fun types of guns to shoot, the Humble Shotgun. Here you can't really make any bad choices honestly, because all shotguns in this game have one shot kill potential if you land every pellet, and yes I am including the Lamat with this because of its under barrel shotgun attachment. And funny enough, the shotgun that does have the highest amount of damage is the sawed off shotgun with its tiny barrel, defying the laws of physics, however in practical terms the most damaging shotgun in the game is the double barrel, as it has nearly the same damage as the sawed off, but it can one shot kill out to 15 feet instead of just 10. Overall, the pump action is my go to choice for both PvE and PvP, as it's tied with the sawed off shotgun for the smallest bloom size, at least initially. And once you start unloading those buckshot pellets on your enemy, the pump action has the fastest bloom shrink speed at just 0.8 seconds, which is how long it takes for the weapon to shrug off the effects of recoil and regain max accuracy after firing. While the semi-auto technically does do more damage per second, its lower accuracy means that you're more likely to miss your follow-up shots if you don't nail someone with the first attempt. And if you're absolutely sure you can hit enemies on the first attempt, then maybe you have painted black, and you might as well go for the double barrel shotgun, or maybe even dual sawed-offs because they have high single shot damage. Now I tend to prefer the double barrel for PvP purposes and then the pump action for PvE for this exact reason, although the sawed off also becomes a viable pick once you start dual wielding like I was talking about. It's honestly quite scary going up against the guy who's dual wielding sawed off shotguns, especially if they're still rocking the slippery bastard or even the slow and steady ability cards, allowing them to survive your assault and sneak up close for a one hit kill. Okay, time to talk about rifles. Most of the time, you'll either be using a rifle or a repeater in Red Dead Online because of how much better those are at range compared to sidearms and shotguns. Sniper rifles are their own category because they have even more range than regular rifles, and I'll get into the specifics of those soon. If you want the best all-rounder in the rifle category, grab yourself a bolt-action rifle. You might be familiar with this one if you play the story mode of Red Dead Redemption 2, as it's a really good weapon over there, and it's just as deadly in Red Dead Online with its high damage output and solid accuracy accuracy, making it an excellent choice for both PvE as well as PvP combat. You can use this rifle for hunting, blood money missions, all tiers of bounties including the legendary and infamous, and even defend your wagon from griefers while doing deliveries. It's a beast in free roam, and if you ask me to choose just one weapon for my entire Red Dead playthrough, it would either be this or the Lancaster Repeater. When it comes to extended ranges, you can't beat a good sniper rifle, and I think the Carcano easily takes the crown in this category. While the rolling block does more damage at 121.4 hit points per round compared to 101.1 for the Carcano, it isn't enough of a difference to make a difference, especially when you consider the fact that the Carcano holds 6 shots while the rolling block holds just 1, and both of these retain their maximum damage all the way out to 200 feet, so it's not like the rolling block is better at extreme distances either, there's simply no discernible advantage to having a single shot weapon that does slightly more damage per hit unless you're feeling adventurous and you deliberately wish to challenge yourself. It's a really fun gun to use, but the Carcano is objectively better. Now with all the main categories out of the way, it's time for the bonus round. This one's for the best one-shot kill firearm in all of Red Dead Online, and it's a bit of a hard choice between the Carcano and the Double Barrel. They both have the capacity to one hit kill with body shots, but they do it in very different ways. The double barrel pumps out a whopping 188 damage if you land all 10 pellets, but at times it feels like you can't hit the broadside of a barn if that barn is more than 20 feet away. Now the Carcano only deals 101.1 damage, but it can put you to sleep from the other side of the map with express ammo. So I'll leave that one to you guys. Let me know in the comments which weapon is your favorite for one shot kills. They serve totally different purposes, that's for sure.
Now let's talk about PVP sidearms. For me, like I was saying, this has to be the Mauser. It's stylish, dual wielding holds 20 rounds, and you get extremely high DPS. In fact, while dual wielding, it does more damage per second than both the Volcanic as well as the Semi-Auto. Plus, it reloads pretty fast, so you can keep the mayhem flowing even if you run out of bullets in the middle of a firefight. Now what about the most fun gun in Red Dead Online? For me, this one goes to the Lamat Revolver, which is my go-to handgun whenever I'm bored of using the Navy or even the Volcanic Pistol. The uniqueness of wielding a 9-shot revolver, combined with the fact that it has an under-barrel shotgun attachment, makes the Lamat one of the coolest and most fun guns in the entire game. And if you didn't already know, the Lamat's under-barrel shotgun does the same amount of damage as a slug from a double-barrel shotgun. In fact, it does a tiny bit more damage if you refer to the charts on Captain Balric's arsenal, and if you're dual-wielding Lamats, you have two shotgun blasts at your disposal for super close-range fights in addition to nine revolver rounds, and it's already the second highest damage revolver just behind the Navy. For the most versatile gun, I'd say it's a tie between the Lancaster and the Bolt Action. Both of these are reliable with good accuracy and damage in their respective categories. Both are extremely effective up to medium ranges in PvE as well as PvP, and you can easily clear most content in Red Dead Online using just one of these guns without ever feeling the need to switch to a different firearm. And for the final category here, it's the top meme gun of Red Dead Online, and you guys already probably know which one I'm gonna choose. That's right, it's the comically impractical elephant rifle. Probably the last gun you should buy, but for pure meme energy, nothing beats the euphoric feeling of sending your flows into the afterlife while falling back on your own ass after each shot. Not only will the elephant rifle kill your enemy's body, it will also evacuate their soul once they realize they've been beaten by what's essentially a glorified cosmetic item. Alright guys, that concludes my list of the best guns in Red Dead Online. Now which weapon do you use the most and why? For me, it depends on the situation, but it's usually the Lancaster or the pump action because both of these are so good at their jobs. Anyway, that's all I have. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios amigos!